It's showtime. What's up, good people? And welcome to the Frank Harris Show, the biggest, the best, the baddest, and the most provocative show on earth. And we got Dominican E in the building. What's up, E? What up, what up, Frank? What up, Frank? Some interesting stuff going on in the sports realm. Spin your say stuff going on. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. E, great sports weekend. First, blockbuster trade, blockbuster trade. The New York Knicks, Minnesota Timberwolves, big trade. Knicks get Carl Anthony Towns, Timberwolves get uh, Randall, Julius Randall, DiVincenzo, and a first round pick, E. Who yes. got the best of the trade? I think the Knicks got the best of the trade. Um, you know, Cat brings another element to the game. He's more of an offensive minded, more offensively, you know, player than Randall. Randall was a guy that can, you know, all startable player, but you know, when 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 playoff comes, when the playoff time comes, he kind of like, you know, he he shrunk in, in big moments. Wait, hold on, hold on. Stop the presses, bro. Right, right now, your two assessments are off. Cat is a choke in the playoffs too. Cat was horrible in the playoffs last year. All you can't act like Randall about, chokes in the playoffs. We're talking about Randall, about Randall Frank. He, we, she shrunk in the playoffs. But, 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 but hold on. And then, and then Eric, I mean, I mean, over the last few years, now Randall's been the best player for the Knicks, but he's averaged 24, 25 all-star level player. Yes. So, I mean, it, uh, offensively, Cat. is Cat better? I guess. Cat is better, Frank. Cat can shoot the long ball better, right? That's going to open up the court. But, you know, Brunson and uh, Mikael Bridges, those guys to penetrate, right? You got, you got uh, Ananobi. You got those guys that want to get to the basket. He opens up the court for them. He's a better shooter, right? And and I don't know if he's a better defensive player, but he brings another element to the game too. He's a solid defensive player, and he's all star level player. Frank, come on, cat, don't don't don't. So it's Randall. So by the way, by the way, just to be clear, I'm arguing for argument's sake to a degree because I think Cat is a better overall player, but Randall's an all star level player too, okay, right? So who's Randall's an all star level player, player as well. I'm saying on the Knicks. Wait, roster, hold on, hold on, hold on, on the no, hold on. But better. they're both choking. They both. They both choke in the playoffs. I both understand. of them choke in the playoffs. I Neither understand. one of them is great in the playoffs. I understand, but I think I think I think for the Knicks, I think for the Knicks, Cat is a better fit than Randall. I will say that. Yeah, that's. I will say that. But over the last few years, Eric, over the last few years, Randall has had similar productivity to Cat. Not that Cat's a better player, right? And I, but, but this is an example of a trade, Eric, where I think benefits both teams significantly. Yes. Right? I do believe that Carl Anthony Towns is the better player. Let me be clear. I do believe that. So let me just argue that. But I, I'm not sure I agree with all your reasoning. Okay? okay? I think he's a better fit for the Knicks. I think Randall would, would have been a bad fit with Brunson because of style of play. Right? Two guys that, that need the ball in their hand. You know, Randall's a dribble-dribble shooter. Like, he's also a guy that gets a lot of possessions, a lot of touches, and a lot has changed right since he got hurt. Exactly. And Brunson has taken that step to prove he's the guy, right? And Cat, Cat has already showed you that he's okay being a second fiddle guy to Anthony Edwards. He's okay with doing that. That's my right? point. And he also has – but by the way, Eric, he's, he's not good on defense, though. Like, let's not say that. I would, I would say Randall's probably a little better on defense. A little better. They both, they both, you know, you know, comparable to each other defensively. They both okay. They're not great defensively, but they both okay. The room is Divincenzo. The room is was also upset that he was gonna have to take a lesser role. Yes. Because okay. everybody's talking this, this, everybody's talking this Villanova garbage. But you know, if it would have stayed the way it was configured, okay, one of his Villanova boys, Mikhail Bridges, would have been playing it too, and would have taken Divin, Divincenzo's job. Yes. Right. And Divincenzo's had some good years with the Knicks. He yeah. played well. So supposedly he was a bit disgruntled. And also, there were some economic issues with them being over the second um, cap and all that kind of stuff in Minnesota. So they had to get rid of cap. Yes. Okay? Or they would have to get rid of Nas Reed or some of the other guys. Yeah. But I think this is a trade that works. Yeah. But I also heard Frank For both Randall, Randall might be on the move. Frank, I heard, heard Randall might be on the move. I can't be. I can't. From Minnesota? Yes, I heard he might be on the move, Frank. He might be on the move. Now, don't tell me, don't tell me about you was in the height in the heights in the barbershop talking, man. Who's, no, you got no, credible no. sources, man. You talking about your boys in the barbershop <laughs> in the heights, bro? <laughs> nah, these, are, these are my resources, Frank. I got resources. I heard he. All right, come on, man. He's on the move. I, I heard, I heard some big, there's some big things. Um, I'm gonna say it here first. Don't be surprised if he lands in in in, in Miami. Don't be surprised if he lands in Miami. 
No, he won't land in Miami, Eric. I mean, then you're too small. Of course, you're, um, as, as your bigs, right? I Me, mean, Bam is six nine, and he's six nine. You're too small. Nah, but you, see, yeah, 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 that's barbershop. That's that's Washington Heights bar, bar, barbershop talk. Today's bro. basketball. We ain't going there. Listen, today's basketball. Everybody is small, man. They play small ball in today's basketball, Frank. So uh, who's to say who's big, who's small? Today's basketball. Everybody's playing out of position. So let's leave it at that. Everybody's playing out of position. Well, first of all, that, that's not true. Jokic uh, is playing out of position. Anthony Kubo is playing out of position. Jokic, what are you talking about? Player. That's one player. I I I. I and B's playing out of position. Let's talk about let's what do you mean? Frank. And B's playing out of position? In today's game, guys are playing multiple positions, Frank. In today's game, guys are playing multiple All positions. Right. Well, you're not you're not you're not winning without a big guy um down low. Blocking shots, grabbing rebounds. Two six nine guys is too small. If Miami did that trade, that'd be dumb. Two six nine guys is too small. Well, you heard you heard it here first, Frank. So if if, if it comes, well, to I don't know. listen. Position, I'm not sure. I want I want the fans to hear it here first because that's foolishness. <laughs> you heard it here first. But Frank. anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I think both teams benefit. I think uh, also um, Randall's a better fit with Rudy Gobert. Obviously, yeah. I don't know that it it, it, it was going to work with Gobert and um, with Gobert and uh, Cat right together. Call Anthony Town. So anyway, let's see big trade. E. Yes. Let's see how it. You know how it unfolds. Now we got to switch gears. E, let's go right to college football. Yes, right to college football. E, what a football game! Alabama, Georgia. Oh my goodness! At Alabama, yes. Milro Beck was mediocre, but boy, oh boy, Eric, that wide receiver from Alabama, that seventeen-year-old kid. I think it's Ryan Williams. Yes, Ryan. Boy, Williams. is he Ooh, special? special. He's special. Yeah, 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 he's special. Boy, now he's special. He brings up another conversation about should guys be allowed to go to the NBA. I'm mean, excusing to the NFL sooner, right? Because that kid right now looks like he's ready to be a first round pick in the NFL and he's only 17 years old. Yeah. But anyway, e, that being the case, let's talk about the game. Cool. Let's talk about the game, how you like the game, what you thought about the game, e? Great game. Georgia got off to a slow start. You know, Melrose was dynamic, running the ball, running, 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 using his legs, create plays with his legs, dynamic. The wide receiver, obviously, big play, big play in the game. But let's. Georgia started off slow. And let me let me say something about Beck. They got this guy as the number one QB coming out of college this year. I don't see it, Frank. I don't see it. That's your kind of TV, though, bro. That's no, your kind of guy. It. I don't see it, Frank. I don't see it. You know, if you push a door Sanders on Georgia, with that offensive line, they go undefeated. They, they go, they national champions if you push a door on that team. But anyway, I'm just saying. Fair. Uh, this guy here, man, down the stretch, you got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You know, you gotta make, you gotta let your playmakers a, a chance to make a play. He threw it right to him, threw it right to the freshman. Well, he's a freshman corner. He's a freshman corner. He's supposed to exploit that. You know what I'm saying? You got your big wide receiver. Come on, bro, ex Miami player. You know what I'm saying? And you throw up that. That was horrible, Frank. And again, they started off slow. You know, defensive they were horrible. You know, uh, they, uh, on the on, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, giving up big plays like Kirby Smart. Y'all got to do better than that. You know, I'm not a Georgia fan. I'm I'm not a Georgia fan, and I, and I hate Alabama. So Kirby Smart, you got to you got to tie that up. You got to tie that up. That was horrible. That so first half so how about this though? So how about this stat? Kirby Smart is a head coach. I believe is 40 and 0, or 41 and 0 against every other opponent outside of Alabama. One in four, I think it is against Alabama. I believe it is one in four, one in three, or one in four. Maybe one in four, whatever the number is, Eric. But 40 and 0 against everybody else. You're talking about a team having a team's number. And Kirby Smart, as we know, used to be an assistant coach at Alabama under Nick Saban. Um, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, he can't beat Alabama. Yeah, one. That was, that two. Was bad. The big moments, too. You can't beat him in the big games. I mean, this is not a big game. Can't beat him. It's, it's, it's a rivalry game. What, 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 he, beat him, he beat him once for the championship, though, right? He beat him once in the championship, but he can't win. He can't right. win. The big games, he can't win the big games against right. Alabama. Last year, SEC not enough. lost. Not enough. So on, I, I, listen. So so great game number one. Okay. Game, Alabama's game. up twenty eight. Alabama's up twenty eight zero. I want to turn my TV off. Okay. Yeah. Next thing I know, the score. Georgia's up. Yeah. Okay. And then this kid. This, then this kid Ryan. I think his last name is. Then this kid from the wide receiver from Alabama, Ryan with Williams. This kid is unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Bro, he does some. He's phenomenal, Eric. He's as good as a freshman wide receiver as I've ever seen. And by the way, o Ohio State has one as well, who's phenomenal, right? Yeah. Florida kid, 
university, I mean, excuse me, went to Florida High School. Um, but boy, that boy is something special. But anyway, E, listen, I agree with you. Carson Beck should have made a better throw. We agree on that, especially for a guy his caliber. But let me just say this, Eric, as well. Your wide receiver got to fight more. The wide receiver got to fight more. The wide receiver, he didn't attack the ball, E. He didn't attack the ball. He was waiting for the ball to come to them, come them backing up. Yeah. And, and, two, and two wanted it more. Two, the corner wanted it more, Eric. Like, listen, Beck made a bad pass, but I would want my receiver, right, to right. want the ball more. Right. Eric, the ball's up for grabs. Yeah, you got to fight. You gotta you fight. Got, is that right or wrong? You gotta the fight. ball's you up for grabs. Yeah, the ball's in the air. You got to be a playmaker. You got to go attack the ball. You waiting for the You got to fight for that ball, E. You got to fight, yeah, yeah. It's either it's either incomplete. You gotta fight for that boy. Either incomplete, we fight, we fight for another down, or you know, it, you know, it's, it's I catch it. There's no way that you know and he's six three. You know, uh, J- J- Jacoby. Yeah, Hughes, no way, E. Three. Jacoby. Offensive Hughes. pass interference. Either I might grab the guy. Offensive pass interference, Eric. He's, I'll, he's not catching that ball. Yeah, he's not catching that ball. He's not catching that ball, E. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So by the way, Beck is overrated. I agree. Let's stop talking about Beck being the number one pick in the draft. He should not be the number one quarterback in the draft. I can name three quarterbacks right now that are better than him. Three quarterbacks right now that are better than him. Yes, sir. Milrow's better than him. Shador you know is better than him. You know who I got him? Milrow. You know who I Shador got Shador is better. And, and Ward is better. And Cam oh. Ward. Okay, 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 okay. Ward, but I mean, all three of those Ward guys are better. Be, Ward might be better than all three of them, but we're we going we gonna to leave that up. We're going to leave that up. We'll up see. I like, I like Milrow the best, but we'll see. Ward is right. So, Beck, let's stop the Beck conversation. Let's stop the Beck is the best quarterback, in, at least for now. Yes. Right, because he hasn't shown this year thus far that he's a number one guy, um, um, number one pick in the draft. He's not. Listen. But, E, another class of James. And if, and, and, if, and if the Manning kicker come out, I'm taking the Manning kid of all of them, but he can't come out right no. now. So. Here we go again. You starting up the hype machine. He beat three bum teams. <laughs> Listen. I'm going right now. He, but he, look, he can't, he he, can't he be, come out right now. He can't come out right now. But if he was to come out, he's the, uh, number, one, he's the number one pick, Frank. I'm just saying. But we can't, bro, can't, come, I, out. We can't I, come out. I hate victims of the moment. I hate victims of the moment. You're, I hate when people are like victims of the moment. Too. You're one of those guys that get, get caught up in the moment. But we're like, go ahead. Eric, 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 they played. He beat, he beat, um, he beat Louisiana, right? Yeah. Which is a low one program, right? Yeah. He scored, they scored like 70 points against, against them. They beat one of the bad teams in the state of Texas, right? USTA, right? In Texas, another low, low one. They beat, yeah. they scored like 60 or 70 against them. And then he beat Mississippi State, who you and I both know is a mid major program that just happens to be in the SEC. Our Mississippi State is a hardware program. Yeah. That's not so. Eric, he has three wins against three bum, bum teams, okay? Yeah. He now, looked good doing now, it, though. He looked good doing it, though, he Frank. Did. He did. But let me say this, Eric. Arch Manning, at some point, is going to be a high pick in the NFL draft. We know that. Right? The lineage, the family name. We know all of that. Right, E? But let me just say this, E. Okay? Let's not be a victim of the moment because we haven't seen him play at any level of stress. We have, let's see him Texas, Alabama, if they play. Let's see him play Texas, Georgia, if they play. Then we get a chance to see what his character is. Anybody can play when you have a when you have an embarrassment of riches and you're playing against superiorly uh, inferior teams offensively. Those teams that he played against, not even excuse me, defensively and offensively, right? Yeah, the me. level of talent against the teams that he's played thus far is significantly less than his. Is that fair? Yeah, they are. I mean, of course, of course, right? Right. So let's not ordain him. So let me ask you a question. Now that you said that, you is as healthy next week potentially. Okay, are you staying with Arch Manning or are you going back to yours? They play Oklahoma, right? The next week. Um, yes, o- I believe Oklahoma. Yes. Ooh, are great. you going back to Arch Manning? Or are you staying with yours? The hot hand is Manning right now, just as an FYI. Yeah, but I, oh man, I, and, by, and, and Tom Brady, and we got history. History, Tom Brady with Drew Bledsoe, the hot hand. You tell me who you going with. Ooh, and it's and it's and it's the it's, it's the Red River rivalry. Ooh, the Red Big, R- Red River rivalry. Ooh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. I'm going with the veteran quarterback. I'm going with the veteran quarterback on this one. You gotta go. You're telling me the guy's the best quarterback in football right now, and that you're not gonna play him? You said he's the best quarterback. If he's the best quarterback in football, how you don't play him? <laughs> Listen, man. no, that Red River rivalry is something different, Frank. Uh, Here we go, Mr. Red Hyperbole. Red I can't believe it. <laughs> how, how you gonna say on one breath he's the best quarterback in football, right, and then another breath, but against a good team, I'm not gonna play him. I'm saying that's that's a robbery, Red River. That's a different, that's a different, that's a different game. 
I'm going with Uris on this one. I'm going with Uris to start that game. And if and if he and, and if he comes out shaky, then I, then then I'm going with when I'm with, with the Manning kid. But right to start off the game, I'm going with Uris. If he comes out, no, nah, you can't you can't do that. You can't do that, right? Like you go with Uris, you got to go with you as your starter, right? If he doesn't start the game well, you can't you can't. But you can't start if you are the coach from Texas, and I know he knows it's Sark Sarkeesian. What you can't do is play right quarterback carousel. You're not going to be able to do that. What you're not going to be able to do is take Ewers out if he plays bad in the first two series, put Manning in, right? Because at that point, then Ewers is done for the rest of the year. Because if you do that, Eric, if you sit him in season and you put Manning in, you can't go back to Ewers, this right? Saying, but that point is Manning's job. You know what I'm saying, right? right? Right now, Manning is a hot hand, right? So if you bring in Ewers and he comes in there and he falls, he, he comes out shaky, do, you know that fan base, Texas fan base is, whew, you know, they, they tough. And if he comes out shaky, not playing for the last couple of weeks, he comes out shaky against a red, against, you know, that rivalry. Them, that fan base in Texas, they could get very they could unsettled quickly. You know, they, you know. They, so I have, I have a question. So if you take yours out, you put Manning in, right? In that game, okay? Yes. And if you win the game or Manning plays better, okay? At that point, you know you can't go back to yours. No, you can't. You know that, right? It's over, it's over. Okay. Just so you know that. At that point, it's man his job. It's man his job. Yeah, it's man his job. Okay, okay, fair enough. E, switch gears. He switch gears. Let's let's highlight because there's a lot of garbage NFL games. Like, let's highlight some good NFL games. Oh, alrighty. I, I, I know you're gonna get to one, but go ahead. I know you're gonna get to the. Oh. Let, let, let's go out the gate right now, uh, right? And this is hold on, hold on, Frank, hold on. Let's, this is personal to you and I. No, no, this is personal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> personal. Let's start off because I know you want to talk about this. It's 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 burning in your heart right now, guy. You want to talk about it last. Let's talk about it first. Get it out the way. Let's talk about Buffalo Ravens because I know that's what you want to talk about. You know, and and by the way, just for the record, not only do I want to talk about that game, but that was the best game, right? To me, not, not the best game in terms of competition because your Buffalo Bills didn't show up. Yeah, they didn't show. Okay. Up. They didn't show up. But let me say this, Eric. You know what I love about Lamar Jackson? So you and I know it's a, it, it, there's, a, there's a very healthy rivalry between Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. Same draft class, yes. right? And those are the play. You like Allen, I like um, Jackson, yes. right? Jackson, two MVPs, Allen, none. And, and this was the year where Allen was playing great. Allen was the best quarterback through the first three games of the year. Yeah. Fair enough? You can always say that. Yeah, you can always say that. But it's not even arguable. He was the best. Yeah, okay, we can say that. The, the first three games, he's the MVP. And then he goes into Baltimore last night, and Eric, he got his hat handed to him. They were what the defense was phenomenal for the Ravens. And by the way, Jackson was, and Jackson raised his game. He raised his game. There you go. The matchup came again, Eric, and he took his game to a level that Josh oh, Allen just couldn't get. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, go ahead. Lamar played okay. He played okay. Derek Cameron. Lamar was great, Eric. Hold on, hold on, Lamar was great yesterday, Eric. He was great. The running game was phenomenal, too. It helped. The running game helped. But Lamar was great, too. Frank, Frank. Frank Lamar Frank. was great. Listen, 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 listen. I'm listening. Derek Henry punched them in the face, and they never responded. He did. Right after that. I'm game, with that. I, I forgot how many yards he ran that touchdown. First play of the game. 87 right. yards. 87 yards. 87 Longest yards. run in Ravens history. Yes. Longest run in Ravens history. Hold on. 87 yards. Punched them in the face. Yeah, Buffalo never responded after that. You know what I'm saying? That guy was running downhill, running mad, running aggressive. Those guys were afraid to tackle that man. And that that first play took the air took the air out 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 of out of, out of Buffalo, and they they couldn't respond right out. They couldn't respond after that. That man. And then you, you figure you got a defensive back, you know, trying to trying to trying to chase him down, and he unruns the defensive back. I mean, unruns. What, yeah, what kind of English is that, bro? Unruns. He outruns him. Yeah. Oh, out! I thought you said unruns. No, yeah, outruns. Come on, come on, out, come on, Frank. I know my, I know my vocabulary ain't, ain't up to your standards, but I, you know, I speak a little <laughs> good English. Yo, he, out, he outruns the guy, a defensive back. The guy is two hundred and forty-five pounds running that. But you heard what Lamar said. You heard Lamar said after the game, though. Everybody sleeps on his speed. I mean, that was it's the reason why he's a Hall of Fame runner and the best running back in the NFL for the last how many years? Yeah. He's just he's big, fast, yeah. strong. Oh man, that's shit. By the way. Yeah, I got a question. Now, this is a too early prediction, but did they show you last night that the Ravens have the potential to be a Super Bowl team? Yes, if they play the way they play, like I told you before, running the football, 
They got a you ain't tell me that. I agree with that. <laughs> I told you that, man. Is it? You ain't tell me that. I don't think. I don't think Lamar Jackson should be throwing forty times a game. I, I, I don't think that. Oh well, that, that's what well, I, I agree with. That. Last year in, 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 in the in the championship game, he threw like forty times. They lost. I said that. They, I agree with that. You ain't telling me nothing. If they, Frank, I told you. But if they run the ball and play stellar defense like they did last night, they're gonna have a chance to be there. And Lamar Jackson plays like the MVP. I know he is. Two times defending it. Like I said, uh, two, if they run the ball and they play stellar defense, they'll be there at the end. Okay. And, Lamar, and, and by the way, and, and let's not forget this. And part of the amazing run attack is Lamar Jackson's legs as well. Yes, making plays, making plays with his legs. So yeah, I'll give you that. Making plays. I think I think Justice Hill, I think his name is 43, phenomenal. Oh, Coming phenomenal, out the backfield. Phenomenal. Scat back. Oh, yeah. He's catching phenomenal. screens, running it. Phenomenal. Man, they look good. Hey, hey, but that was that was as good as uh, that was as good a performance as we see as we've seen yeah, this year. You no, know, like, listen, and my man, uh, Mark Andrews, the tight end, he doesn't get a, he doesn't he doesn't get a, the credit he deserves as a blocking tight end, as a receiving tight end. He he, made, he was dropping everything yesterday, but okay. I'm saying, but Lively's he's, good. Likely, whatever his name he's, is, is he's very good. But Andrews, is a guy that can, you know, a, a, another offensive lineman on the line, blocking tight end, you know, get, open up them holes for the for for, uh, for number forty three. I, I don't know his name. What's his name again? Him, we got Derrick Henry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Justin Hill. I think. His yeah, name yeah. Is, yeah. So you, I mean, look, look yeah. the Ravens. The Ravens are built to win a championship. To win. Yeah, to win. They are. But, but, but Eric, the defense yesterday was phenomenal. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. They, they were lights out. That guy Hamilton, the safety. Ooh, safety was great. Ooh, he's good. The Van Noy, I believe he, he had two sacks. I believe on the, uh, the, uh, the linebacker. Oh They're yeah, phenomenal. yeah, yeah. They, they compare him to Ray Lewis. They're phenomenal. They compare him to Ray Lewis. Yeah, he was phenomenal. So oh, anyway. He, Oh, good game. Your boy Josh Allen again when the big game came, he did. <laughs> That's what Jake always does, just to be clear. When the big game comes, so, Josh Allen. All right. so, by the way, that one throw he threw when he was going out of bounds, though, of course, his body all the way down the field was amazing. But he, and he's always a guy that could do that. Listen, he give you one play that's a wild much, play. I'll tell you this much. If Buffalo gets home court advantage and they got to come up to Buffalo and play in that cold weather, which, which suits with suits, uh, with suits, uh, Baltimore because they're a running team. Uh, yeah, of course. They, 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 listen, but if, if if Ravens go up there to play in Buffalo, hmm, watch out, watch out with that cold. Eric, that Eric, Eric, running, running the ball and playing defense travels. It does. That, that's, right. Okay. Yeah. And, by, and, by, and by the way, just for clarity, they run the ball and play defense better than the Bills. Yeah. yeah so in that matchup, in that matchup, in a cold Buffalo with snow. Right, that matchup favors Baltimore. And by the way, and it's not hot in Baltimore, right? I mean, they live in a cold climate place too in the winter time, so it's not like they're not used to cold. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, that crowd, that crowd, that crowd could be <laughs> that crowd. I hear you, bro. But 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 I wouldn't want to play them in the playoffs, but if they continue to play like this. But anyway, yeah. hey, let's just do a quick rundown of some other games. I got I got to talk about my Cowboys, right? We beat, Cowboys beat the Giants. Look terrible again. Okay, we struggling this year, right? Beat the Giants twenty fifteen. I mean. That's not very good, right? The Giants could have still won the game, right? I mean, you were touchdown away from winning the game. So, yeah. not great, Eric. I don't got too much to say about that. Oh, no, hold um, on. Let me, let, let, let me pick a game. Let me pick a game. Let me pick a game. Like, I know you want to run down, but let me pick a game. Go ahead. The Jets and the Denver Broncos, Aaron Rodgers. You look old, Aaron Rodgers. You look old. You look old, Aaron Rodgers. It's time to hang it up, Aaron Rodgers. You look old. Well, he wasn't on the game before when he was throwing touchdowns. Now, here you go again. You're a fair weather guy, kind of guy. When I said that, I never said that. I'm going where we – Ryan, this weekend, come on, Frank. Let me get my moment. Aaron Rodgers, what? you look old, Aaron Rodgers. You look old. It's time to hang it up. It's time to hang right. it up, Aaron Rodgers. We scored nine points against the lonely Denver Broncos. Nine points. The lowly Denver Broncos. Lowly. Oh, my God. Eric, just to be clear, you, you know I said from the – And then your kicker misses the field goal to win the game. And well, Eric, you know I said – Oh, God. You know I said from the beginning that, that was the most overrated team in football. I always thought the Jets were way, way overrated. I always thought that. Right? The most over – and listen, I agree, right, Rodgers is – It's you know it's funny, Eric, about the Rodgers dynamic. Brady messed it up, right, because Brady was great into his 40s. Okay, and then everybody thought that this was really possible and it was an easy thing to do. People underestimate Eric, yes. right? People underestimate Eric how hard it is to be great, you know, past 40. Father time is undefeated. And Brady did it, and now everybody thinks they're gonna do it. Russell Wilson said he wants to play into his 40s. And then and then listen, 
they built everything about Rogers. They babied him the whole time when he was out. Everything's about him. He's dictating this. He's telling. He was. They they built everything around him organizationally. They, they, they let him do it. He remember he went away, Eric, during training camp to go to go on a retreat in the dark or whatever the case may be. They built everything around this guy, Eric, yeah. and he just ain't the player. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, he so good. listen, the Jets are overrated to start with. Mm-hmm. All this nonsense about even when he when, when he when he the coach tried to hug him and he didn't hug the coach and that was something we saw over and over and over again because obviously you know it's the Jets big media market. Eric, what a joke. Overrated team. So that's why, to me, I'm not surprised. And by the way, you know, I don't like Denver. I don't like the Dem- Peyton because of how he did uh, Wilson and how he killed the regime before him. Right? But the Jets, terrible. Sal- by the way, Sal is on his way out. Sal may be the next um, coach to be uh, fired. Mm. Sal. Right? He may, be, he may be on his way out, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Right? We'll Robert Sal is on the clock. Yeah, we'll see. Eric. So, by the way, biggest surprises in the NFL. Oh, okay. Yeah, biggest surprises. Yeah, let's talk about that. Who's the biggest surprise in the NFL team wise, Eric? I got two right teams. Now. I got two teams, and the quarterbacks are playing. They're playing, they're playing for Who? The team. I got Who? Minnesota. Let's talk about that. Let's stop right there. Okay. Right. Minnesota. Minnesota. I'm defeated. Yeah. I'm, no, one, no one saw that coming, Eric, number one. They went in the Lambo, I think it was, and beat um, the Green Bay Packers. Yes. E. E. Sam Donald right now. Are you kidding me? Sam Dog. Listen, this is, what I, this is what I say about some of these guys. Some of these guys need a fresh start, right? You go somewhere, you, you get drafted in a team, that team doesn't fit your style of play, right? And that, everybody wants to kill you for that. Oh, he's not that good. Now you get you get a fresh start, you know, you get a fresh start, new offensive coordinator, right? You got some Eric, workers around you, and now he's playing good football. He's playing Eric, good football. so first of all, let, listen, Eric. So the fresh start conversation is valid sometimes, but it's not valid here. He's had multiple fresh starts. Frank, it takes He's been on five teams. Guys. Guys. Frank, it takes time for some of these guys. You okay, but them. okay, but let, let's not say let, let's not say he needed a fresh start because he has had five fresh starts. Right? Now, this is what I will say. This is what I will say, right? He's po- he's proof positive. And by the way, two guys in that same draft. I think Baker Mayfield was in that draft as well. Ba- I, I, I think right? Baker Mayfield. Zach Rosen playing great. Huh? Right. And so I think they're they're positive. They're um, excuse me, proof, Eric, that a lot of times, E, it's not about a lot of times, Eric, it's not about rushing these guys to play right away. There's some guys, Eric, that can do it, but in the NFL right now, in the microwave league, we rush these guys to play. And the problem is sometimes it takes these guys more time. But that being the case, Eric. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me say my last piece. But that being the case, Eric. It's impossible not to rush them when you draft them that high because the fan base is ready for those guys to play. That's just the reality. So, but sometimes it takes time. Okay. Okay. So last That's the reality, week, though, e. last week on the show, or last week or other week on the show, I said these quarterbacks need to be mentored and let them get their feet wet, and then you put them out there. Right? I said that. These guys, quarterback, need time, right, to get groomed to be an NFL quarterback. Now we're seeing it. Now we're seeing it. Baker Mayfield. Well, 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 let me say that. You can't, first of all, your statement is true or not true. We're not, but we also, I can bring examples up on the opposite side where yeah, players you play. Yeah, really. right. Stroud was good. Stroud was yes. good out the gate. Yes. Right? So it goes, it goes both ways, right? And, like, and by the way, the quarterback for the Washington, um, Jaden Daniels yeah, right oh, now is yeah. playing. Yeah, he's a first year, first year quarterback, and they threw him right there. And he's lights out right now. Yeah, he lights out. I mean, he's, he's, he, listen, he has an eighty-two or three percent completion in the first four games, right? Highest in NFL history for any quarterback, any quarterback in that stretch. Yeah, eighty-three yeah. percent completion percentage. Right, there's guys. So he's a first year guy. Frank. So hold on, he's a first year guy. So, so your statement it goes out the window with some of those guys. Hold on, Frank. So act like that. It has to be that way. Frank, there's some guys that you, they're ready. You can throw them out there. There's some guys that need time. There's some guys that need time to develop. Some guys you could throw them out there. You know, the great ones you could throw them out there, right? No, don't say that. No, no don't say the great ones because Tom Tom Brady's a great one and they ain't throw them out there. Don't do that. You are exaggerating again. Tom Brady. Tom Brady wasn't projected to be a great quarterback. He was. A but he, what, you, you just said the great ones. But, but you didn't say projection. You said the great ones. A lot of great ones, right? Same thing with um with Aaron Rodgers. He sat. So don't say the great ones because a lot of great ones have sat. Yeah, but you have to hold on. You gotta take that statement back. Hold on, Frank. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brady turned out to be great. 
turned out to be great. It doesn't matter, Eric. The point you said was all of the great ones are ready to play right away. They're not. Most of the great Some ones. Some great ones need a time. That's most not true. Ones. Most of the great ones. Most of the great but ones. Aaron Rodgers is a great one. He sat. Most of the great ones. Most of the great ones. Throw them in there right away. I don't know about most of the great ones. I think some guys sit, some guys don't. I don't know that there's a formula. The point is, I think you can't say most either way. There's success with guys who sat first and played. There's success with guys who play out the gate. Okay. It goes both ways, bro. All right. So bro. anyway. Okay, Frank. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, hey. My, dis- my disappointment game was the Steelers. Against the Colts? Eh. Losing to the Colts. You got momentum with that defense. You're playing well. They scored a good amount of points here, right? That was my disappointing game. Yeah. 24 points. That defense should have been stealth enough to stop uh, Indiana from scoring 27. That was my disappointment. Yeah. Chance to go 4-0 for Tomlin. Disappointment. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Another coach that may be fired. Second hot seat coach I got for you, right? So I was on the hot seat. But even more than him is Sirianni. And by the way, and by the way, you know, I always thought that they overpaid Jalen Hurts. You know, you know, I always felt uh, uh, Jalen Hurts is overrated to me. I always told you that, right? I never liked Jalen Hurts. Number one. Number two, Sirianni's on his way out. They got smacked by Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers. And by the way, Todd Bowles doing a pretty good job, right, um, with the Buccaneers right now. Up in Tampa. Listen, Tom, Tampa. Listen, Tampa Bay might have Philadelphia's number. They beat them last year in the playoff, and they beat them this year. They might have they, but e, 33-14, Eric, is a, I mean, that's, you know, in the NFL, that's not very good. Yeah, 14 that's points that's from Hurts. Yeah, yeah, that's not good at all. Well, thing, well, it, it, uh, thing didn't play. The wide didn't well, play. Two of their wide receivers didn't play, but still, Eric, you got to give me. Jalen Hurts is a $250 million man. Frank, but you don't have you don't have your number one guy and your number one receiver, your number two receiver. It's hard to it's hard it's hard to beat teams, Frank. You ever heard of a guy named Patrick Mahomes? He got the great Andy Reid behind him. A lot of guys. Right, and your boy got the the not so great Nick Sirianni behind him. And by the way, in addition to that, Hurts is not that good, bro. He's not. He's not. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna so anyway. I ain't gonna bash him, man. I ain't gonna bash him. I think I think him missing those two players, and then on the defensive side of the ball missing, I think they were missing a couple a couple of their players. That kind of that that kind of fell into. Hey, uh, I think they're one and three right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, come on, bro. And by the way, let me say this: It looks like Jay. And then let's talk about this game, Eric. Okay, Washington. We talked a little bit about Daniels. Washington, um, uh, Arizona. Let me say this: Jaden Daniels is looking like. They were hoping the quarterback from Kyle, Woody, Kyle Murray was, was supposed to be. Jaden Daniels is doing what you thought Kyle Murray was going to do. Yeah. Right? By the way, the Kyle Murray thing. Start off decently. Right? Arizona's playing okay. Playing right? Marvin Harrison Jr. had one great game. Yeah, and now here they go again. 40, 42-14. And don't look now, by the way, but the commanders are gonna, the, the commanders are going to be in the playoffs this year. Because the Eagles are not. <laughs> don't look now. I ain't, but the, gonna say, I, ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say the commanders are gonna be in the playoffs. Let's I'm gonna say it. Let's pause on that real quick. I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say it, Frank. You can say it. I'm not gonna say it. But don't look now, but the commanders are gonna be in the playoffs next year. I mean, excuse me, this year. Excuse me. And by the way, now, Eric, the question becomes this When do you throw your hands up and, you, and when are you done with the Kyle Murray experiment? Right? The five foot eight fast quarterback, right? Like, you know, when do you realize? You're not winning with that guy. Ooh, they gave him a lot of money, Frank. So you're gonna have to stick with him. Uh, I don't know. I a, guess. I don't. I don't know that the timeline. You know, with him. You know, what I mean, he got obviously one of the be- one of the good young wide receivers now to work with. You know, what I mean, they got a good, decent defense. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't think you just you know say okay, we're gonna give up on Tyler Mary. I think you just have to continue to play games. See how it goes this year, you know, saying look at the wins and losses, look at the pros and cons, and then you can come make a decision going into next year. But you ain't winning with a five eight, five nine quarterback. We see it with Bryce Young, we see it with this guy. Didn't be clear, right? Um uh, E, and then look, last what I want to talk about is this. The the Chiefs. The Chiefs won 17-10 against the Chargers, right? The Chargers are a little banged up. 17-10. Look, Mahomes is not great. Right? Yet, this year, the Chiefs are not playing great. But, E, isn't this what it's about, Eric, when, when, when you play bad but you win? 
Or or is it is it what the Eagles were last year? Because remember, the Eagles started out like six and one last year, yeah. and the Eagles were winning the same way last year. Remember, the Eagles were winning the same way last year, Eric, and everybody was like, "Oh my goodness, these Eagles right are so good." And then, but they were winning close, and I remember saying to myself, "Man, they're winning these games. They should be winning them bigger and better. They win it by you know the luck of, luck of things happening in the game, etc." But they don't look like a really really good team. The question is, are um, the Chiefs, that team, similar to that, or are they just a great team figuring it out, still a great team, but if they keep winning, Eric. They keep winning. Listen. And they got the best player in the game. Yeah, they're a great team, friend. They, they, they just, right now, they're a great team. They're they figuring it out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they have right. you know hangover from the Super Bowl or not, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. I, they got Taylor Swift hangover. We know what the hangover is. <laughs> I just think right now, they just playing the game. They're squeaking by. Which is okay, and right. as long as you pile up wins, right? I think that you know they'll get in rhythm, you know, you know, in, in, in a couple of weeks or maybe next week they'll start getting in their rhythm. But I mean, they're just a great team. Obviously, the best head coach in, in, uh, in NFL, you know, what I'm saying, and Andy Reid. I mean, those guys right now they're just figuring it out. You know, just keep guys healthy until we make our until we make our run. Listen, I always believe you start peaking, you know, during. Come, come closer to the playoff. That's when you really want to start peaking in football. Everybody healthy. Keep everybody healthy. And then you start, you know, peaking during those week week 16, week 17, right before you enter into the playoff. So, listen, Kansas City. Are they Super Bowl good, Eric? Are they Super Bowl good this yeah, year? We just yeah, said the Ravens are Super Bowl. Yeah, they, they, you, got, you got to go with that. Okay, I, I agree they're still Super Bowl good. I think I think they're a great team that just, they, they know how to win. Yeah. And, they can, and that's a team that can maybe turn it off and on because of the coach, the quarterback, and the experience. Yeah, I don't believe it. Right now, now hey, 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 I just got to go here hey, because this is personal between you and I. I just got to go here, okay? <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. Personal? This is things personal. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. I'm listening. You know, I like, Trev, talk to me. Trevor, that's your guy, correct? Yeah, you thought he was going to be a dominant NFL player, correct? Yeah. He still got a chance. What's up with that? He still got a chance. Huh? He still got a chance. To Eric, play. Eric, that's another um, a tandem of maybe a quarterback needs to be benched and the coach fired. Peterson won a Super Bowl, but right now he looks like he, right now he can't get your two, and they paid him two hundred and seventy-five million. Not all guaranteed, but that's the life of the contract. But you know, if, if if it gets paid out, okay, he looks he looks nothing like a franchise quarterback, Eric. Yeah, they're struggling right now. They're struggling. I can't just put it all on Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, they're on four. They're on four, Eric. Yeah, I know. I understand. Listen, I know the quarterback gets all the attention, right? If they lose, he gets the blame. When they win, and all the money too, by the way, he, and all the money too. Listen. I understand all that playing the quarterback position, but I understand you get all the attention. What I'm trying to say is this, right? Trevor Lawrence got the money. Trevor Lawrence was the guy that they said was going to be the next paying man. Again, you said that. I didn't, but okay. You said <laughs> everybody that. Everybody said it. You know, he Not was- me. <laughs> I'm the guru. That's why everybody needs to listen to me. Not you and everybody else. So Go ahead. Right now he's struggling. Right now he's struggling. I think Struggling. Listen, I think what you what, what need. Well, if you want if, if you if you want to salvage the season, right? You got you got you got to got to get a running game to help him. You got to get a running game to help him, right? Then you can start maybe sh- shrinking down the playbook. Maybe to, to make making simple throws. Make it, you know, make Eric, the game easy. Eric, stop making excuses. At some point, easy, the, 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 the rubber hits the road. The rubber hits the road, bro. Your guy ain't doing it. That's the bottom line. The rubber hits the road. He ain't doing it. And by the way, he Siriana, Siriana should be on a Siriani should be on a hot seat. Peterson should be on a hot seat. And 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 Salah. Hot seat guys. So anyway, E. But look, another good week of foot, another good week of of football, obviously. Yes. Um, great college football game, yes. big blockbuster trade, NBA season coming, thick of the college football season. Think of the NFL football season. It's a great time now for sports enthusiasts. E, as you know, we always do. This time of the show, we give you an opportunity to speak on the people that you love oh, and yeah, that you yeah. hold dear from the Dominican community. Yeah. This, this one, this one, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking it to uh, uh, the music, the music industry. This guy right here, he's, I think, he's one of the pioneers of Dominican music, merengue. His name is Johnny Ventura. He passed away. I think maybe two, three years ago, he passed away. Icon, Johnny Ventura, El Caballo, Icon, Icon. 
I want to give a shout out to his family. I want to give a shout out to his son, doing great things with the music world. Jody Ventura de lo mío, el caballo. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. All right, well, listen, as always, it's been real, Eric. Um, we out. We, I think we, we almost had 50,000 here on the subscribers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's yes, been yes, a lot yes. of love. Please comment, like, share. Keep showing love, everybody. We out.